Uh, and he has difficulty saying that Joe Biden was elected in a free and fair election because he doesn't want to antagonize Donald Trump uh, and his base, notwithstanding the fact that Donald Trump uh, incited a violent attack on our capital. Uh, these Republican leaders are still in his thrall. Now, Adam, you know there's probably very good reason for that, don't you? And you know I'll expose the very good reason, because once again, and as has been the case for many, many years now, you are 100% wrong or simply attempting to mislead the American people. You see, there was two titles I could have used for this video. One was all about the Trump curse and how it darkens the skies over not only Republicans, but Democrats as he once again reaches out to seize control. And that's exactly what he's going to do. I'm going to show you why in a poll that should shock and dismay both sides of, again, what is ultimately the same aisle as we all well know. But I went with the second one more to illuminate the hypocrisy of everything that's occurring. And that's that secret connection between Biden and the QAnon shaman exposed through a videotape that they would much rather you just never see. But of course, you're going to see it today. And you realize how all of this is one grand hypocrisy. But before we go any further, I need a huge favor from you. We're going to be pulling down discount code Trump shortly at Restricted Republic. That's $5 a month. If you simply put in Trump at monthly checkout for 12 months, along with 14 days free to check out the platform first. If you don't like it, just cancel before the trial ends. No harm, no foul. But once you're there, you'll realize what an open discourse actually sounds like. What news was meant to be unfiltered, uncensored, no commercials, no interruptions, beholden to no one but our audience. Once again, that was RestrictedRepublic.com. Right now, for a very short remaining time, use discount code TRUMP, $5 a month for 12 months, and again, 14 days for free. And also, if you haven't joined us at Telegram, or Gab, or Rumble, or Parler, or Mayway, or Codius, we can continue to go through the list. Please do. All the links are below. That's our way of keeping in touch with you. Most importantly, please subscribe to Telegram. Late breaking news. Also, when we're posting a video, no matter what platform it is, we will inform you there. But now let's get back to this broadcast because there's so much to talk about when you're dealing with two separate titles. And of course, we're going to circle back. <laughs> Thank you, Jen Sakibam, on the QAnon shaman and this unheard of connection between him and Joe Biden. But before we do, we got to get to the poll that seems to be keeping everyone awake at night. This exclusive on USA Today, defeated and impeached, Trump still commands the loyalty of the GOP voters. Now, does he? What does it have to say in this article? An exclusive Suffolk University USA Today poll finds Trump's support largely unshaken after a second impeachment trial in the Senate, this time on a charge of inciting an insurrection and deadly assault on the Capitol. January 6th. It appears that not only corporate-run media, but Adam Schiff can't let that go, even without a conviction. But I digress and go back to by double digits, 46% to 27%, those surveyed say they would abandon the GOP and join the Trump party if the former president decided to create one. He's not going to have to create one. He'll simply seize control of the GOP. He's done it before. He'll do it again. Trump voters are prepared to punish those who crossed him. Eight in ten say they would be less likely to vote for a Republican candidate who supported Trump's impeachment, as ten representatives did in the House. An equal portion, 80 percent, say the seven Republican senators who voted to convict Trump were motivated by political calculations, not their conscience. <laughs> <laughs> you think any politician in Washington, D.C. still has a conscience left? Good luck with that. Only 4% say the impeachment trial made them less supportive of Trump. 42% say it made them more supportive. 54% say it didn't affect their support. And then this big old poll came out. If Trump ran for president again in 2024, would you support him for the Republican nomination? 76% saying yes. Well, that's most certainly not a statistic they wanted you to see, not the result that they were hoping for, not why they drug him through the mud as many times as they did, not as many conspiracy theories they've thrown on top of him about Russia, not with all the collusion talks, and most certainly not with the multiple impeachments. That's not the poll anybody would have expected, but you see America simply wants somebody who's not establishment. They don't want establishment candidates anymore or politicians who don't represent America. Now, that would be unheard of in any of the corporate media circles to say out loud, but here, that's what you get. 
This new poll should terrify the GOP establishment. It was covered everywhere, but yet did you hear about this on mainstream media? No, of course you did it. In that article I just showed you from Town Hall, it states, we feel like Republicans didn't, don't fight enough for us. And we all see Donald Trump fighting for us as hard as he can every single day. This was a 27-year-old Republican and small business owner from Milwaukee, but then you have establishment Republicans who just agree with establishment Democrats. Well, they failed to realize that those are actually one in the same and everything, and they don't ever push back because they're one in the same. But we'll move forward just a second into also red state. New poll is setting off all the alarm bells for the GOP if they continue down the establishment path in that article. According to that same poll I just read you, half of those polls said the party should become more loyal to Trump, even if it meant losing establishment Republicans or establishment Democrats. Once again, one in the same. Only one in five said the party should become less loyal to Trump and more like establishment Republicans like Mitch McConnell. An alarm bell, as they say to Mitch McConnell, and a solid rejection of the establishment course. You might try to sweep aside Trump, but the people that swept him into power and the reasons they did are still there. You try to move him aside or dismiss those issues, but then you'll have dismissed by those voters who have very little faith in the establishment at this point, like the establishment of the man who I started the video with. And I'm going to let you listen to the second half of this statement just so you understand now how wrong Adam Schiff is. But then again, Adam Schiff is always wrong. They have tied their back into this uh, amoral, now former president. Uh, and it's a terrible thing for the Republican Party, uh, but it's also a tragedy for the, for the country. We need two functional parties. Right now, we only have one functional party and a cult of personality around Donald Trump. Adam Schiff stating that they only have one functional party. Adam Schiff saying that the Democrats are the only functional party. When I go on my little rant on my second broadcast, we're going to be uh, recording here shortly, probably airing got Restricted Republic later today. Uh, yeah, you'll see why that is, again, couldn't be further from the truth. But we expect lies and hypocrisy from the left. They have proven nothing else. But then again, we get lies and hypocrisy from the right, too. So does it really make a difference? That's why Lindsey Graham's making his pilgrimage out to Mar-a-Lago, because He's already seen these polls and realizes that no matter how much he waffles, the further he waffles away from Trump is the further down his approval rating goes, and hence why they make that pilgrimage to Mar-a-Lago. But now let's go back to the ultimate hypocrisy, because you've heard about all the capital rights. Now you've seen the reaction from both sides of the aisle. You've seen all the trials, everything else that's come to place. But now what if I told you Biden did nothing different, according to Biden? By the way, Biden claims he was once arrested for trespassing at the Capitol. At age 21, Biden had been caught bragging about other arrests that turned out not to be true. So again, we're, we're not sure where the truth is in this statement. However, we will go to the video itself and you tell me if there is now a connection between the QAnon shaman and Joe Biden. So what was that like, uh, walking into the great Senate chamber at 29 years old? You know, I walked in when I was 21, and I got arrested. No guards stopping everywhere, and, I, and they just got out of session. I walked in the back. All of a sudden, I found myself in the chamber, and I was stunned. I walked up, sat down in the presiding officer's seat. Guy grabbed me by the shoulder, said, you're under arrest. Interesting, huh? Sat down in the Senate chamber seat. Guy grabbed him by the shoulder and said, you're under arrest. So everything you guys have been talking about to us, everything that went wrong, and again, we don't support any of the activities that occurred. However, however, you got to be very careful when you talk out of both sides of your mouth that later on that video evidence will surface that you did nothing different than what was pictured here. So then who are you to pass judgment? And in all reality, you should maybe come to the defense. But of course, we know that's not going to happen because hypocrisy abounds within the walls of Washington, D.C. But now it's firing back, isn't it, Joe? Agree or disagree? Joe Biden's not the moderate nice guy that they made him out to be. He is a puppet of the radical left. This was a Rasmussen poll. And who agrees with that? Democrats, actually 27% of Democrats agree with that. 68% disagree. 
Unaffiliated, 54% agree, 37% don't agree. Republicans, 82% agree, 12% don't agree. And all voters, all voters now, what does that all equal? 54% of voters believe that he's simply a puppet. That's a concerning statistic, one that should give nightmares to everybody in both parties, because when America believes that, America will react. I know many of you are brokenhearted and feel defeated over everything that's occurred, but the statistics I'm providing you should provide you a di much different viewpoint as to what's actually happening. Because the cartoons, this on Fox News, you see another week at Biden's White House, you see everything's reflecting the same thought process now. This is a nightmare for the Biden administration. This is a nightmare. But we must worry about their reaction. Because so much has occurred, as we're going to start to shut down this broadcast, Saki dodges questions of whether Biden still considers Cuomo the gold standard for COVID-19 leadership. Well, that's just the beginning of the hypocrisies that are exposing the administration, the exact storylines we told you we'd be bringing you and exposing for ourselves. There's one thing that rarely bothers us here. It's not if you're a Democrat or a Republican. And it doesn't bother us. If you're honest and you're truthful and you stand for what you believe in and what you believe in is in line with the Constitution and the betterment of America, we take issue with no one. We don't expect to agree with everyone. Of course not. That's simply not the way things work. But lies are an issue. Hypocrisy is an issue. And we're seeing that more readily apparent every day now as they traverse through and the mountain of lies they've created. They will continue to stumble, and every time they stumble, we will be there to document it, record it, and report on it so that you realize reality isn't that far away. It's just shrouded in a whole lot of lies and a whole lot of deceit, but at Restricted Republic, we make sure we get you through all of it. So until next time, once again, if you haven't gone over to Restricted Republic, please do. That's your way of supporting us. I don't ask for donations here. I provide you something in return. That's something being RestrictedRepublic.com. Once again, discount code TRUMP at monthly checkout. You're going to get $5 a month for the next 12 months, 14 days for free. That will be expiring soon. The audience has grown so greatly over there. We can't be more blessed. Also, make sure you get over to Telegram or Rumble or BitChute or Parler or Mayway, whatever it may be, so that we can continue to communicate with all the late breaking stories. And until next time, Godspeed and God bless Justice Knight, signing out.